hunting is our term for searching packets for text. Any user that has the Can Search Packets flag set to true can create, monitor, rerun, and remove their own hunt jobs. An admin can do these things for any hunt job. Let's go to the hunt page to create a hunt. To get started, make sure that you've narrowed down your search to only the sessions you want to include in your hunt. You can see how many sessions will be searched in this navbar. For the purposes of this demo, I'm going to search through all of our test data. Click Create a Packet Search Job to begin. At the top of this form, you'll see that you're prompted to make sure that you're hunting the correct subset of your sessions. This area will contain a warning if you're searching 100,000 sessions or more. By default, a regular user can search 1 million sessions and an admin can search 10 million sessions. These numbers are configurable. First, name your hunt. Multiple hunts can have the same name, for instance, if you're searching for the same thing within multiple subsets of data. Next, select how deep within a session you want to search. I'm going to search through all the packets in a session. Next, you can configure notifiers um, to be notified when your session, when your hunt ends or when it encounters an error. Next, type your text that you want to search the packets for. You can search for ASCII, case-sensitive ASCII, hex, regex, or hex regex. You can search through just source, just destination, or both. And you can search raw or reassembled packets. Let's create this hunt job. First, the hunt job is put into the queue. Only one hunt job will run at a time. And if you pause a hunt, the next hunt in the queue will run. You can pause it with this button. At any time, you can pause a running hunt or view the matching sessions. You can view them here. Once the hunt job searched the sessions in your data set and it's complete, it will show up in the hunt job history. Here, you can view your details about your hunt. Click the plus button to view more details. You can also rerun a hunt by clicking this button. It populates the form before with the values for this hunt so that you can rerun it on another subset of data. Since we have matches for this hunt job, we can open those results in a new tab by clicking the folder icon. This opens a new tab with the hunt ID as the search expression. For each session that the hunt job matched, we have two new fields, hunt ID and hunt name. The hunt ID is unique. The hunt name is not, as noted previously. Please note that it takes a minute for Elasticsearch to update the sessions, so this page may be empty if you open it immediately after the hunt job completes or while it is running. Lastly, you can delete a hunt job at any time from the queue or the history. Note that this does nothing other than remove the hunt job from your queue or your history. It does not remove the added fields from the matched sessions.